Right, in this video, we will be doing question 3, but part B, okay, and this is not related to part 1. So this is totally on its own, and it's from the June grade 10 paper. Okay, study the following information relating to wonderful traders, and answer the questions in the, on the answer booklet. Okay, so we are busy with relating to wonderful traders, okay. S. Small owed wonderful traders... 2500 okay so s small is owing us money so therefore s small is a debtor a debtor is somebody that owes us money it's an asset because we will receive money from them and assets increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side which means more assets more debtors on this side the debit side and less debtors or assets on the credit side okay so they give us information and everything asked um, in the question relates to this. Okay, so we'll see a smile owed wonderful traders 2500 and then charge a three month overdue account to S smile with 16% interest per annum. Okay, so let's have a look at the question. Calculate the amount of interest. Okay, so calculate the amount of interest that we will have over here all right uh, that's charged to the account of a small on the 2nd of may okay so it's 2500 which you owed at the beginning of the day before times 16 percent 0.16 and it's only for three three months so three over 12 and that's a hundred rand so the interest that we will charge that will increase the account of a small is a hundred rand Okay, so the second question that we will look at over there as well. Okay, second question will be supply one good reason for wonderful traders allowing the 90 Rand discount to Esmail on the 7th of May. Okay, so you tell them, so on the 7th of May we received an EFT from them for half the amount owed to them and allowed them a 90 Rand discount. Why will we allow people a discount? There's a couple of reasons. Um, because they settled the invoice earlier within the credit terms. They were, they were sticking to their terms that, that uh, was required of them. And it's also a motivation to pay. If you give somebody a discount um, when they are paying earlier, then obviously it's a positive thing. For, for them as well to pay earlier and you getting the cash in which is good for your for your cash flow okay so that's three point three point um, three okay the next question is three point four what amount is owed to Esmail to wonderful traders on the 8th of June okay so firstly we must remember on the first day there was the 2500. Okay. Then there was the 16% interest that was charged. That's another 100. Okay. We received an EFD for half the amount owed to them on the 1st of May. So that's uh, half of 2,500, which is the 1,250. Okay. So 1,250 is given to them there. And then a 90 Rand discount was also charge to them so 90 rand discount decreases their account so what amount is owed to them on the 8th of may it's a 2 1 plus 100 minus 1 2 50 minus the 90 and will give me 1 2 60 and then 3.5 calculate the profit markup added to the goods sold to small on the 11th of may okay sold goods with a cost price of 1700 to small for 2380 now to be able to work that out what is the normal normal uh, formula that we use it's the profit over the cost price okay so the cost price is 1700 okay all right and the profit is the selling price minus the cost price gives me the profit over there all right so it's 2380 minus 17 
and then you will multiply it by 100 to get a percentage. So it's 680 over 17 times 100. So the profit markup percentage that we are using is 40%. 3.6. Calculate the selling price of the goods returned by SMAL on the 14th of May. Selling price, okay. So SMAL returned the goods with a cost price of 150. Now we know that the profit markup is 40%. Okay, so if we look at that, so it's 150 is the cost price, the actual cost price, and now we say uh, cost price, profit, selling price, it's 40%, cost price always 100, selling price 140. Okay, so what I normally do when I do a calculation like, like this, I would say the following and I would say, okay, what do I have? What do I have is the 150 and I put it over 1. What is this 150? It is the cost price. Okay, So therefore I must put the cost price percentage here at the bottom which is 100. I must put it here so that's the cost price percentage and I want to work out the selling price and that the selling price percentage is 140 so I must multiply by 140. So therefore 150 times 140 over 100 will give me the 210. That's the selling price. And then lastly, um, supply the correct accounting term for the portion of debt that was written off as irrecoverable. That is called bad debts. Okay, so that was part B of question 